Hello friends, this video on linear equation in two variables part one is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The topics to be covered are introduction, linear equations, we'll talk about what is linear equation, we'll talk about solutions for a given linear equation, we'll also talk about graphs, various graphs of linear equation in two variables. We'll talk about equations of line which is parallel to x and y axis. We also, we already studied the Cartesian plane which had x and y axis in the previous chapter. So if you don't know what is x and y axis and what is Cartesian plane, please watch the previous video. And we'll also go through a final summary. The chapter is all about linear equation in two variables. Let's understand what is linear equation first. Then we'll go to linear equation in two variables. You see equation, equation is nothing but any expression which has equal to side and you have some left hand side and something in the right hand side. For example, x is equal to 8. This is the equation. There is a left hand side, there is a right hand side or you can say x plus y is equal to 3 plus z. There is a left hand side, there is a right hand side and there is an equal to sign. right? If I say x is greater than 5, this is not an equation because there is a greater than sign. So equation is something which has left hand side, right hand side and equal to. Okay. So linear equation is nothing but algebraic equation whose degree of polynomial, so let me write here. So it is a algebraic equation. with degree of polynomial is equal to 1. And what is degree of polynomial? We studied this in the past chapters. So if you don't know, please watch my previous videos where we talk about degree of polynomials. Okay. So it is linear, quadratic. We have various degrees of polynomial that is the highest power of the variable. So in this case, the highest power is 1. It is also called linear actually because if you draw the graph or any of these kind of equations, you will get a linear line. This is a line. From line you have got this word linear. It is line. From line you got this word linear. So if you draw a graph of any of this equation, you will get a linear a line. We will talk about these in detail. You just understand that it is called linear because if you, the graphical representation of these kind of equations is a line. Right? And the example can be, for example, x plus 3 is equal to 8 or let's suppose 2y plus 8 is equal to 7 or 9z plus 3 is equal to 9. So these are all examples of a linear equation or x plus y is equal to 5. This is also if you see a linear equation. Why? Because if you see these all are algebraic equation. There is an equal to sign and the highest degree is 1. But if you see x square plus 2x is equal to 9, this is not a linear equation because the highest degree is 2. Okay? The, the highest degree of polynomial has to be 1 for it to be a linear equation. This is not a linear equation. x plus y plus z is equal to 8. This is also a linear equation. But if you see the variables are different. Here the variable is 1. So linear equation is 1 variable. Here the number of variable is 1. So this is also linear equation in one variable. In this case, if you see there are two variables x and y. So this is linear equation in two variable. In this case, x plus y plus z, there are three variables. So it is linear equation in three variables. In our chapter, we'll be studying on, we'll be focusing only on the linear equation of two variables. Since there are two variables, we can actually easily plot in x and y coordinates Cartesian system. We'll talk about that later. Just understand linear equation by definition is nothing but an algebraic equation that has to be equation equal to sign and with the degree of polynomial is 1. So we have linear equation in one variable and two variables. Linear equation in one variable is something which we have already studied in the past classes. But we will go through that. We will see some real examples of linear equation. Understand why should we study linear equation? What is the application of linear equation in our day to day life? Let's take an example of taxi fare. So let's suppose the taxi fare, the normal taxi rule if you see is uh, they say that uh, rupees 50, is, rupees 20 is fixed 
and then rupees 10 per kilometer that is a fare of a taxi so for example for 2 kilometer if you are hiring this taxi for 2 kilometer he will charge you 20 plus 2 into 10 that is 40 for 3 kilometer he will charge you 20 is fixed plus 3 rupees per kilometer sorry 10 rupees per kilometer for 3 kilometer is 30 30 plus 2 is 50 similarly for 4 kilometer the charge will be 20 plus 4 into 10 that is 60 similarly for any x kilometer for any x kilometer if you want to find the equation it will be 20 plus x into 10 or you can say that 20 plus 10x that is the fare so you see here there is only one variable here this is a linear equation and one variable for example the driver asks you for a uh, fare of 70 rupees and you gave him 70 rupees and you want to know how many kilometers you uh, the, the whole ride was so you can put in this value so this is the total fare equation and this is equal to 70 so you solve this x comes out to be 70 minus 20 by 10 70 minus 20 by 10 that is nothing but 5 km so you can say that the total drive was 5 km so this is actually we do it mentally but there is a linear equation involved here this is a very good example in normal day to day life we use taxis and the taxi fare is all based on kilometer taxi auto the fare is all based on kilometer and all these if you see we can actually write in the form of linear equation in this case linear equation in one variable or if you go to a shopkeeper and you want to buy a pen and let's suppose cost of one pen is equal to 10 rupees okay and then you say that i want to buy five pen five pen what will be the cost of five pen the cost of five pen you will do a man mental calculation you will say five into ten is 50 rupees but if i want to write a generic statement cost of x pen will be how much it will be 10x so you can put the value of x anything if you put x equal to 5 you get 50 rupees you get x equal to 1 you get 10 rupees you get x equal to 2 20 rupees okay so also for example if you went to a shopkeeper and you ask for a pen he says the price is 10 rupees each pen and then you say that uh, give me 5 pen 5 pen and it, its cost will be 50 rupees but the shopkeeper says give me 60 rupees just by seeing that you are a kid then you can say that no one pen is 10 rupees five pen has to be 50 rupees i'll give you only 50 rupees there must be some miscalculation from your side and then he'll recalculate and he'll say okay the cost is 50 rupees so if you see all these small small calculations we actually do in our day-to-day -day life and these are nothing but linear equation real time examples actually we already know a lot about linear equation in one variable we know that linear equation in one variable has a unique solution let me write linear equation in one variable this has unique solution when we represent this when represented in number line so number line is on something which we are studying for example the equation is x plus 4 is equal to 0 so we know that the value of x is what minus 4 so minus 4 is this point so this is the fixed solution for this or you say y plus 3 is equal to 5 this is also a linear equation in one variable so y is nothing but 5 minus 3 that is 2 and this is the point so this is a unique solution okay and we know how to represent this in number line okay the same concept we will represent uh, will extend actually for linear equation in two variables so here if you see there was only one variable so we could do with a number line but the moment you have two variables you need a cartesian system x and y axis we'll talk about that so you can think actually does the linear equation in two variable for example x plus y is equal to 9 this has any solution if yes is it unique right and if it is unique 
how can I represent in Cartesian form? Think about these things. Think about these things. Pause the videos. Think about these things, and then we can actually uh, start learning about the linear equation in two variables. Please note here that when I say linear equation, one variable has a unique solution. That is when we are representing the number line. But actually, we'll see that linear equation in one variable when you represent in the Cartesian form, it will also have multiple solutions. We'll talk about that later. First, understand that linear equation in one variable in this number line has unique solution. Now you have to think that linear equation in two variables, for example, x plus y is equal to 9, these kind of equations, when they represent in Cartesian form, will it have any solution? If yes, how many solutions? Will it have one solution, nine solutions, and how to represent them? Think. Okay? And with Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.